Hey, what's up Lena users? I am Jonathan and in today's video I will show you how to make crystal-like shapes like this one, this one or even this one. This tutorial will be a lot shorter due to the fact that I am ill right now and I don't want to talk that much. And if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing because I upload a new video every Saturday. And with that said and done, let's get straight into the video. To start off, we will of course delete the default cube and then go into the preference tab and enable the extra objects add-on. After that, just press Shift A, Math Functions and choose the regular solid. And I like to choose the dodecahedron. I think this is the right way to pronounce it, but I'm not sure. So just click on this and we get this shape. And now we will just duplicate this and have these two objects. On this object, I will now place a particle system and give it the type hair. We will of course reduce the number to something around five like this and go under render to object and select our other object. And now we get this. These objects right now are way too small. So I'm just gonna up the scale like this. And now we can go back into the modifier panel and click on convert. Now we can also delete the particle system and we have our object and our particles right here. Now I want to use all this as a new instant object for another particle emitter. So just select everything and press Ctrl J and everything is merged. We can right now delete this object because we won't need this anymore and select this object right here, move the geometry into the center of the object and move it to the side. Now we can just add another regular solid and repeat this step. So add in another particle system, choose hair. We can now vary the number to, for example, six and also again, select this new object as our instant object and make the size a lot bigger like this. What I also want to do is play around with the seat so we get another look every time. If you see something like this where you would need some random rotation, you can just check advanced and also rotation and choose normal tangent and under face, randomize the face like this and you get random rotation. Now we can again go ahead and convert our particle system, delete it and select everything right here, press Ctrl J like this and we get our new instance object. Again, delete our old instance object and add in another regular solid. And you can repeat this step how often you want and this is basically gonna now be our iterations. But this process takes a really long time, so I've gone ahead and wrote a little add-on for this. You can get this add-on on my Gumroad page. There's a link for that in the description below. And if I now press Shift A after enabling this add-on, we can see that we get these two new options. And this add-on is actually called Design Shapes because in the future I will add a lot more cool design shapes into this add-on. And right now we just got this diamond torus, which is basically a torus with this diamond-shaped faces. But this is not what we want. We want to add the crystal growth algorithm. So if I add this, we get this little object. Um, the base iteration is set to five, but we can of, of course lower or up this. So with seven iterations, we got a lot more detail. But I'm just gonna go back to five and show you the different settings we can change. We can, for example, also do the same thing with cubes where we now really want the random rotation because otherwise this will not look that great. So just enable random rotation and we instantly get this look. We can also choose torus to get this look, which is pretty neat. Uh, I think this is something I've never seen before. And we also can enable materials, which will now give us a new material for every iteration. Um, I can show you this by just selecting the dodecahedron. If I now go into the material settings, in the material panel, we can see that we get for every iterations a material. And if I go into the material preview mode and we would, for example, change this material, we can see that every object which was created in this iteration now has this material applied. For the look I showed you earlier with the spheres, I just use the same, the same plugin like this, but not uh, different materials and selected spheres like this. And the trick now is to use the voxel remesher so we don't have these harsh edges anymore. So just go into the object data properties panel and under remesh choose voxel and we can choose a voxel size of 0 0.01 and hit a voxel remesh. And now we can see that we get these strange edges um, and these are of course not totally smooth but we can easily fix that by going into the sculpt mode just selecting a brush for example the smooth brush and then smoothing out the mesh. This doesn't take a really long time and in the end it actually looks really good. 
you would of course pay a lot more attention to the small details right now they just look blurry um, but in the final render I smoothed the mesh out with more precision so it looked like this. And yeah, that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like and comment down below what you want to see next. And we're gonna see us in the next video.